Welcome back to IndieSat. We are so glad you're here. National Days. We know them, we love them, and we've been using them a lot on IndieSat lately to bring new and fun themes to the show. But how did these unofficial days really get their start? Joining us now from North Dakota is Marlo Anderson, the founder of the National Day Calendar, to share more about it. Hey, Marlo, how are you? I'm doing fine. You got the Dakota down pretty well there. Dakota. Uh, a Dakota. <laughs> I hey, love that. this is so, I'm thrilled to have you on. All right, so take us through the process. How did you begin, like, hey, I'm going to have have these unofficial official national days to the calendar well it was it was just a passion of mine uh when i started so i, I just started a blog uh just over eight years ago i couldn't find the the reason why we had national popcorn day and i'm a popcorn lover yes. so i just started investigating and started to write about the different national days and then the media started following uh my blog like you and and uh it just became a thing and and uh about three years later we had a kind of an aha moment where my blog became kind of a business because we had millions of followers didn't want it to go away but we had to figure out a way uh to continue to sustain it because it became bigger than what i could handle so that's kind of the short story of it i love it what are some of the wildest national days that we have that get the most reaction well, well there's a difference between wild and most reaction i suppose <laughs> any, any anything that is a sibling family you know like national siblings day does uh probably our biggest day national girlfriends day yes uh, which is supposed to be about girlfriends but what i love about that is that i think all of the significant others across the country are shamed into buying <laughs> gifts for their girlfriends too so it's a kind so of a double it. dipping thing yeah it's kind of cool right. yeah are there any day proposals that you have denied and said nope it's just not going to make it yeah yeah we we get over 20,000 applications wow. a year uh and we have a committee that goes through those and only about 20 or 25 actually get approved okay what's that approval process like if someone at home is thinking i really got a great idea. I want this to become a national day. Where do yep. they begin and how do they make it happen? Yeah, so they just go to nationaldaycalendar.com and okay. then there's a, a, some, a form that you can submit. You just, you just kind of plead your case to us. Uh, we love the stories. We love significant dates, significant stories. So, you know, if somebody founded a product on this day or if it's their birthday or whatever, and they can tell a story around that, that just makes it even better. And I love that your tagline is celebrate every day. Yeah, thanks. And where, yeah. have you been like this your whole life? Like the sense of optimism and like each day is such a gift? Yeah, I, th I think um, some people get tired of me being so optimistic sometimes. <laughs> hey, but, uh... never. Hey, likewise, <laughs> me in the newsroom. <laughs> Turn yeah. it down, McKinsey. Yeah, yeah. But I think, you know, it is, it is a choice a person can make. And even in the most dire of circumstances, usually you can find some glimmer of hope, some glimmer of celebration, whatever it looks like. So I choose to celebrate, I choose to celebrate my life that way. Absolutely. We love it. Can you divulge any secrets? Are any days in consideration right Right now that you're thinking of giving the green light well do you want you really want an inside scoop yes yes this, i want an exclusive right here well um i'm gonna give you one okay. then. so we think I, I don't know if you can say the name of the big game or not but uh you know what i'm talking about right yes 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 uh, so the day after seems to be this unofficial holiday all the time mm -hmm. and uh, so we are going to start a movement to move president's day to the day after the big game i think that is a fantastic a, idea it would only be a week earlier we could still celebrate the presidents right but yes. we also get the day off so people who are up till two or three in the morning watching the game mm -hmm. can actually not have to call in sick to work because it's actually a day off so, i am so with you i'm so with we're you gonna that. we're gonna start that in the next couple of weeks actually marla so. push that through thank you so we'll much that. for taking the time with us again where can everybody find more info on you and to submit a day Absolutely. Just go to nationaldaycalendar.com and, of course, any social media platform. You are the man. Thank you so much. Have a fantastic week there. Take care, everybody. <laughs> Thanks so much. All right, Tim, over to you.